Hey everybody, my name is Nathan Masters with Brick System Brothers. LEGO has inadvertently released some images here. Um, one of their online retailers posted these and somehow they got out. So Brickset has posted a bunch of images for 2021 sets. I'm not going to look at all those today, but I did want to talk a little bit about the new road plate system that we see in at least four sets. And uh, I think there's been rumors about this floating around. So Depending on what you already know, some of this might be something you know already, but I haven't looked at any pictures and this is all pretty much new to me. So I'm going to be coming at it from that perspective. And yeah, just quick overview. I'm going to be looking at this set here, 60304, the road plate kind of starter kit itself, and then three of the city sets that are also based on this system that were, uh, the images were released. So I think Bricks had actually had these numbers for a while and we knew that this was going to be in the city range, um, but this is the first official release of the images. So yeah, let's start with the, the kind of starter pack, the road plates. Um, my initial question is like, why, what is the point of having a different road system? And the more I'm looking at these, the more I'm realizing that Lego wants to move away from their base plates and into their um, standard plate thickness. So. A Lego plate is equal to a third the height of a Lego brick, um, but a Lego base plate is kind of a different type of piece. It's vacuum formed, so it's, it's got a thinner profile. Um, it's still compatible, like people have found ways to make it work with plate thicknesses and you can build it up. I mean, you can even shim it with cardboard and make stuff work, but um, all of our old base plates were based on kind of a thinner part. They were more flexible, you could bend them um, and then they had some raised areas, they had some smooth areas, um, but for the most part, the base plates were not very customizable. Like if you bought a curved road plate, it was always gonna be a curved road plate and you couldn't make it anything else. So I think the one, uh, one, one of the points, one of the main reasons to move away from that is so that you can be in system with our plate thicknesses um, and we want everything to be compatible there. And another reason to move away from that is you don't have, you have more versatility with this system. Although uh, remains to be seen how we're going to uh, get kind of the curved, the same kind of curved road that we had before. There isn't really an analogous method that we we're aware of yet as to how Lego's doing that with these new road plates. So the curved road base plate doesn't have much of uh, the parallel version, but everything else is kind of presented here. Basically, you can form an intersection or a straight road based on how you arrange these base units. And as far as I can tell, and this is the, the closest I can zoom in, I'll crop it on the screen a little bit, but as far as I can tell, we have a 16 by 16 base unit, and then around the edge, it's kind of like a puzzle piece where it has these little notches. And depending on what you want to attach there, you either just fill that in with a one by four tile or you can add in a little plate and cover cover that gap with a two by four tile, um, or you can tie it into another road plate. So there's a 16 by 16 square one here, and then I think this one shows an eight by 16, and we'll see the eight by 16 size in some of the other city sets. So that's kind of what there is available in terms of the base units. And then, you know, you can just line these up end to end. You can branch them off in different directions, and that's kind of how you form your intersections and the different ways that you go with that. And then, of course, if you built houses and structures on top of these other um, plate style bases, and we know those come in 16 by 16, 8 by 16, 8 by 8, um, but we don't have those very large in the 32 by 32 size of the other base plates, probably because they would break too easily. So if you want to form larger bases out of plates, pretty much the biggest you can go with those is 16 by 16 studs. And that's not too big of an issue. There's actually quite a few sets that include base plates that large. Uh, even going back to you know five, six years, Lego's been using these larger plate thickness bases. And I think even like certain themes almost use the plate thickness base exclusively like Friends. I don't think I've seen very many base plates in Friends themes at all. So this is kind of the starter pack with really the emphasis on the road bases themselves and not really anything supporting structure-wise, except for some nice signage and lamp posts. If you look on the box here, it's actually advertising that the lamp posts have glow-in-the-dark elements. So that would be this little one by two 
uh, plate here. You actually can't even see it on this one because it's the same color as the background, but uh, these are one by two plates in glow in the dark color. Um, not a super common color. Every once in a while you'll get a, a little parts pack or maybe a character pack that has some glow in the dark stuff, but you know, mostly one by one round plates, um, one by one cheese slope. There was a set with a glow in the dark lightsaber blade that I got, that was pretty cool. So we get those now in the street light, and then it actually has this one by four solar panel tile print, um, just kind of representing our solar powered street lights here. So that's pretty cool that we kind of moving into the green era with our street lights. And then there's two stoplights here and two different signs and some little tiny trees and flowers to kind of complete the, the picture. So yeah, you're, you're gonna get with the road starter pack, you're gonna get four of these 16 by 16 bases, one of the eight by 16 right here, and then to kind of fill out those gaps, there's various places that you can put decorations in. So to actually create the median stripe, it looks like we're going to get two by four printed tiles in dark bluish gray with a white print stripe in it. And then if you don't want to have it printed, you just put in a regular two by four tile. Um, on here, this looks to me like it's actually surface printed onto the eight by 16 itself. So that's kind of going to be a dedicated crosswalk piece. But again, the versatility comes into play here because now you have this eight by 16 crosswalk. But if you want a really long crosswalk, you just line these up. And that wasn't something we could do with the road plates. You were pretty much restricted to, this is the width of your road, there's studs on each side. So unless you go in there with an X-Acto and start cutting stuff up, you don't really get to customize that a lot. So that's what I like about the system. Um, what I don't like necessarily is it, it gets a little bit bulky. So our, our old base plates are nice and thin, transportable stack them up, lay them out, doesn't take up too much room. Um, and there were also base plates just like regular ones. So you could get your whole city going in these increments of 32 by 32. The base plates are uh, 10 inches by 10 inches, I think. I don't think they're quite a square foot. So you had this nice uh, base unit that you could tile a whole city with. And now we're really getting more granular here to break that down. And yes, that comes with the trade-off of more versatility, but more work to get a city laid out. So pros and cons, of course. And then there's actually some speed bumps added in here with the two by four um, shallow ridge piece in yellow and two other little signs. So that's kind of the, the base level road plate starter pack, 60304. Um, if you're starting from scratch, if you wanna kind of redo your city into this style, you're probably gonna wanna pick up a couple of copies of this set um, and you know, the other thing this is gonna do is, as long as there's still demand for the old road base plates, those are going to retain their value and probably increase in value as time goes on. So, might be a good time to stock up on those, you never know. Let's move ahead and look at the three main sets that include this system. Um, and it's actually advertised on the box pretty plainly, like Lego wants us to kind of move to this system now. Um, I don't know how much longer they're going to include the old vacuum form base plates in production. I think there's always gonna be, you know, they're, they're part of the classic branding right now, creator classic. So you can actually just go buy the base plates themselves in their clear wrapping. You don't have to buy a set to get them. So I think those will probably remain on sale for years to come, like there's always gonna be applications for that. But as far as putting those as the foundational piece in city sets, I think those days are pretty much over. You might get one or two random kind of one-off deals happening. But to me, this signifies uh, kind of a shift in the way that the city sets are based and possibly even the modular buildings. Um, yeah, that's gonna be the wild card to see, like does the next modular building, is that built on a vacuum form base plate like the old style? Or are they going to try to really push this new, uh, this new method on the community and build that modular on one of these road plate bases? So let's look a little closer here. This is 60292 Town Center. And it kind of surprised me that we're getting uh, another kind of town center styled set right after um, the uh, <laughs> monorail one that was released this summer. That was kind of a, <clears throat> a fiasco. That's what happens when you don't look close at the packaging, people. You got to understand if you don't see train tracks in the packaging, there's not train tracks in the set. But I digress. This town center hold on a second is that where they're calling it town center all right i wanted to be sure because there's not too much here there's just a little corner building and a little car wash so i i don't know if i agree with the name town center this feels more like uh outskirt corner or something but uh 
I can't complain because we have the introduction of this new Labrador dog piece. So that's going to be really popular. Minifig selection is great here. We've got two, four, six, eight, nine figures with accessories and a baby. So like nine and a half, basically. Uh, some nice colors here. This is dark red, tan, and sand green. So that's a good combo. Something wacky going up, up on the roof there. They're growing some grapes straight into the sky. Pizza delivery business is booming, uh, but it's on fire. So that's why the fire person is there. And then the, the truck, the main vehicle here, this truck. And then that front grill is actually a really nice part usage from one of the Ninjago pieces. Um, I've, I've seen that around a little bit. And then a tiny little smart car here for this, this guy. I'm not sure if he's like going to a little sparring match or something. He's got his vest on and like a kendo hat right there. So a little park there with the bench and the ride along um, on a little hinge maybe. And then our, our guy on the bike here. Hopefully he didn't just come through the car wash because that would, that would be kind of a, a wet ride. But yeah, car wash has been in a lot of city sets through the years. So we do have an updated version of that here. And of course, the, the reason that this set is in the video is it's built on these road bases. So looking here, I can see we've got an 8x16 underneath the robber, an 8x16 with the crosswalk print underneath the uh, guy with the guide dog, and then I'm pretty sure this is just going to be three of the 16x16 squares all kind of uh, put together in a row. Maybe something a little different going on underneath the car wash, uh, but then to actually get the transition to the floor, we have these uh, four by eight uh, little curved slopes. So there's no studs on these at all. And I wanna say there's a very similar piece in production that goes back to uh, the train station that Josh has in his city. Um, but if I remember correctly, that one did have the studs up here on this little one by four area, and this one is tiled. So this might be a new element. Um, if, it, if it is in production, if it is new, it's very similar to one that's in production. And if it's in production, then I must have just missed it. So we do have this built up on these, these road bases. And yeah, just using this system here. Um, what I'm glad that we have is instead of just Lego pushing out the road starter kit, this set here, and then like telling us to figure out how to work this into our city, the 2021 city sets, like the staples of the line, like these are three substantial sets, uh, already come with their own road base plates. And so it's kind of uh, it's kind of built into the system. It's going to be all released about the same time. And if you're collecting city yearly and you're like growing your collection um, regularly, then this will be something that can possibly get gradually implemented uh, as you as you go by these sets, as Lego puts out more city sets. So that's town center. Two nice buildings and some vehicles. Um, minifig number wise, it's pretty good. Minifig component wise, um, there are some things worth noting. Like I think this is a new print here and then I'm not sure. That hair piece is new and orange or dark orange. And then um, it's hard to tell if that's gonna be a printed shirt on uh, the girl over there. It might be. I have to keep an eye out for more images for Town Center. Okay, the next one to look at is 60290, the modern family house. So a very uh, futuristic looking van here in the driveway, and then a small three-story building. Yeah, so more of the same here. We've got the building itself, and then one, two, probably uh, an 8x16 and a 16x16 road base included. I, can't, I can kind of see there's a gap right there, and then that one looks like it's continuous all the way across. Four more of the ramps so that you can drive your car up onto the surface and then back off. Um, and then the other thing with this, this ramp system is this gives you a lot of freedom to position your buildings out on a table or on a floor. You're not locked into a grid, uh, a city grid. So you can, you can put these at an angle. You can um, have large stretches where you don't need to use any Lego elements to drive your cars. Um, if you wanted to, you could even paint the surface that you're driving these cars on um, in the same color. And then that's what I've done in my city with the bridge. Instead of dedicating a bunch of tiles and elements to build this bridge, I just made it about the same width as the Lego road and painted it dark gray to match the actual Lego roads. So yeah, including the ramps here is, is a good feature to have. You can set these buildings at kind of any old angle that you want. 
um, and have open space in between. Um, and people probably won't like that. Some people uh, want to have 100% Lego end to end in their city. But for kids, I think this is a good solution because the kids will have the set and then they can have all these sets spread out on the living room floor or on the, on the dining room table and kind of drive from their house over here to the city center over here to the skate park and not worry about having enough roads to connect everything and not worry about having everything locked into a grid and pieces falling off. So that that's good for the kid's side of the market. And I mean, that's what it is. It's a kid's toy. So don't get too bent out of shape about it, guys. Um, some pieces of note in here, again, this new dog mold here available as a golden retriever instead of a chocolate lab and a recolor of the hat hair combo piece. So this was uh, the Parker from Hidden Side uh, for the longest time has had this in cool yellow and lavender and now this available in uh, reddish brown and red. Pretty cool. Got a little hockey game going on on the street. And oh yeah, on this uh, girl as well, the medium size legs. So not the full size, not the kid size, but the ones in between that showed up on the Harry Potter minifigs in 2019, uh, now available in blue in a regular old city set. So you don't have to go buy a licensed theme to get those. Um, and you know, as, as we get more information about these sets, we might learn about new recolors and other stuff like that. <clears throat> we don't have part counts officially either, I don't think, but uh, six by eight roof slopes in dark blue, those will be nice. And then these hockey nets are actually made out of those red windshield elements. So once again, built on the road base, no more base plates in sight here. The modern family house will be in the system. And the last one I'm gonna look at today is 60290 Skate Park. The skate park is another kind of uh, evergreen theme that has been seen in Lego through the years. Um, and for a while they actually had dedicated, lar pretty large dedicated molds to the, the uh, half pipe element. And that was all built out of a single piece. Now they're kind of going back um, to those brick built versions of those. Four minifigs in this set is pretty good and of course built on one of our new road bases. That's why it's in this video. So the 16 by 16 road base does include two of the printed center stripes and then kind of all over the place there's different stu stuff attached to it. So on this corner instead of going down with the curved slope it's actually going to go up into the half pipe. And that's built out of six of these tan uh, inverted arches, so brick side up there. And ramping his way up off of that is a guy in a stunt wheelchair. So that wheelchair piece is not new. We've seen the wheelchair before, um, but it is a new red color and new green wheels for that. So he might be on some kind of uh, um, Special Olympics team with that. You know, they have those sports. They play basketball in wheelchairs. It's insane. Uh, and the skateboard here and the mountain bike and there it looks like behind the mountain bike There's a little seesaw or a ramp or something and then a little ramp right there Would have been cool to see some roller blades not gonna lie We've got the ice skate element and we've got the roller skate element. In fact, the roller skate element was in this set um, Yeah, so these guys playing hockey are on the roller skate element So we've got it in that set at least um, but Lego hasn't done anything that resembles the, the roller blade where they're all, the wheels are all in line. I don't know if they need to. It would have been cool. I think this would have been a good set to do it if they were going to make that piece. And the uh, lady here in the, what is this, Vita Rush, I think, is the, uh, the, the brand um, that we've seen. So Vita Rush is kind of the, the city brand that Lego has adopted. And they sponsor everything that's going on. So like plane shows, racing. Uh, Vita Rush is out there. They've got their pylons in their car. So kind of it's it's fun to see that like kind of the common thread um, in Octon, of course, uh, the, the very recognizable Lego brand. But Vita Rush kind of coming into its own here. We've got their own drink in their own car now. Oh, yeah. Here's our uh, our hair helmet combo in purple and uh, white yellow, I think, or tan possibly for that helmet piece. The new dirt bike helmet there. Um, so these, these are molds that are maybe one or two years old, but haven't been in a lot of sets. So it's always fun to see the molds get used and we're kind of, we kind of expect them to get used. So to confirm that is good. Um, new colors for the bike as well. So yeah, if you're, if you're kind of wanting to break your way into the road bases gently, this is probably a good set to do that. It's just the one here. Um, but at the same time, like I mentioned, 
it's nice that we don't just have the starter kit. I, I like that we have three of the substantial 2021 city sets, including these road bases. And there are, there are more city sets announced, but they don't have the road bases. I might look at those another time, but I just wanted to talk about this new system that I think Lego is going to transition. Like they want to transition to this, um, again, to recap, to get away from the thin, kind of the, th the very custom thickness of the base plates, the old base plates, where to actually keep everything in system, you need to have base plates down everywhere so that that can be your foundation layer and then you can build up. Because the thickness of a base plate does not match the thickness of a regular plate and you can't really stack a base plate because since they're vacuum formed, the underside of that base plate doesn't have the same clutch as a regular Lego plate. So unifying the system is one of the, one of the main things. I mean, Lego has kept the same product for many, many years. And you can go back and use bricks from the 60s in your creations today. So their dimensions haven't changed. They're keeping the properties of the bricks the same. And the base plates have kind of been one of those outlier things. They were necessary, don't get me wrong. Like It's not that we shouldn't have had base plates, but for the longest time, that thickness was kind of an outlier dimension in the LEGO system. So bringing in the base, the road bases in this new thickness makes sense, just from the system point of view. And then being able to really customize things instead of have a really strict grid, I think is the other main thing that you wanna look at. Just in terms of, if you're a kid and you have a couple of these sets, you don't wanna go out and you know, your parents don't want to spend a lot of money on all the road bases that are out there just so that you can have your city street lined up. You want to have a way to play with just a couple of the sets spread out. You can drive your car on any old curvy path that you want. And the, these just allow those buildings to be in more versatile positions, I think. The way that the ramp works out and you can kind of position that wherever. You have a really flexible city. And I think when you're a kid, it doesn't matter so much if your if your city gets moved around a lot or you know your banks over here one day and over here the next day that it's not as important when you're a kid playing with this stuff and i know because i was a kid not too long ago and i still enjoy you know setting up my lego city at home and and working that out so um personal investment wise just looking at terms and what i'm going to buy it will it will not be right away that i pick these up a, because I don't buy a lot of new LEGO sets these days. I actually focus on buying used and buying bulk. Um, I just find that I get more value going that route where I can, uh, rather than put the money up front at 10 cents a piece, I can put the money in uh, at a lower amount at like 2 cents a piece to get this bulk LEGO and then spend a little time cleaning it up. So to me, there's more value in buying old LEGO. And so, you know, in that simple fact, I'm not buying a lot of new sets these days. Uh, and the sets that I do buy, I tend to look at a few different factors like the new elements and the minifigs. So those come into pretty big play. Um, and these sets having a little bit of both, but not. I don't think these are the best offerings from City 2021 that we know of yet. Like it's not a bad set. And again, with the value, this will be up there in terms of price. Like we don't have a price, we don't have a piece count, but. I could see this being a 60 to $80 set, like no problem. That's just kind of where they're at right now. So I would rather spend that money on more Lego in used form and get that cleaned up and have that greater value than just go out and buy a new set, even though it may contain exclusive pieces, exclusive elements that you can't get anywhere else. So it's a trade-off. Um, that's just personally where I'm at with these. Um, it's not that I'm not gonna buy them because I don't like them. I think they're a good alternative and Lego is providing this transition, kind of uh, an introduction, 2021, to the city base, you know, the road bases. And that's, that's what I wanted to cover. So let me know your thoughts. It turned out to be a little bit of a longer video, but um, I did want to keep it focused in on these four sets. We actually got like 50 new images. So I didn't want to really spread out and have a super long video covering everything. I kind of took a look at what we had announced and I saw these road bases and I, I want to talk about that. So these four sets, incorporating those now, um, 2021, January, somewhere in there, possibly later, don't really know, but we have the images, we have a way to look at it and can kind of evaluate it from that standpoint. So that's what I wanted to do and hopefully you guys thought it was interesting. If you like this kind of stuff, go ahead and subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. And 
it's not just um, set images and announcements here on Brick System Brothers. I have a series called HueTap where I go and look at individual LEGO pieces, how those have influenced the system and how they work together. Um, so I really like making those, but they're not super popular. If that sounds interesting to you guys, I'd love for you to check it out. So go ahead and do that. Um, and like I said, there's a lot of other sets just announced. I kind of want to take a look at those, but today just going to focus on these roads. So that's it. I'll see you guys around the channel.